what's up people this your boy SK and you checking out um, channel SK G106H and today we're gonna uh, get into um, a few basics on um, Fruity Loose Ted and what's new um, I've been using Fruity Loose for a few years I believe my um, first program was um, Fruity Loose 5 and um, kind of stuck with me and for those that um, don't know what Fruity Loops is. Um, it's basically a workstation. You can record uh, vocals. You can uh, make beats on it. Um, you can create music. You can do pretty much anything that you can do with a workstation on Fruity Loops. Uh, it's very powerful. But um, enough talking. Let's just uh, get into it. Okay. This is Fruity Loops 10. This is um, one of the new plugins they have called the Pitcher, which plays the role as um, I would like to call auto tunes. Um, most people, when I say auto tunes, they uh, start thinking about like uh, people that can't sing that use auto tunes to make their voice sound uh, like they can sing. And uh, yes, that's what this is. Um, it keeps your um, voice pitch within um, the range of like. The song it fixes your the pitch of your voice, but let's check it out. See how it's, it's keeping our voice. Yeah, that's called the um, Pitcher, and I believe that's probably like one of the um, best pl new plugins they have uh, added to the um, program. Um, a few um, other um, differences that I noticed um, in Fruity Loops 10 that 9 didn't have is um, the, um, the block process. Or most, I mean, if you're a Fruity Loops um, user, you will know that um, when you go up here, um, you could go to uh, pattern um, and then once you open up the pattern which is this right here down here will be like another you can put the blocks in and then you can like pitch your wave files up here you can't do that anymore I I um you have to just um, everything like is based off like waveform and you just put it in as you go right here one of those that um don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna open up nine for a second and I'll show you. This is what I'm talking about. The blocks, block process. Put the blocks in. Then you will put your wave files up here. This this section right here is no longer in free loops. Okay. Another um, thing that I noticed that was different is the mixer, the mixer board, which is this. Um, <clears throat> it's a little different, looks a little different. The knobs are much bigger and longer. I'm glad they did that. And um, it's, you can change it to wave form. Just go right here, you go to view. Can you this is the original way that they had it. Now you can go if you want to and view the wave forms, which I which I think is was a big was a was good because if you got if you're using like a hi hat and different from from a um, bass, you can you know it automatically what it is from the way that it, what the way the wave looks, which is pretty cool. Um, another feature that I thought was pretty cool that they added is the plugin picker. Just click right there, and um, you just go to the different plugins, and you can like, you can pick the um, plugin by the way that it looks, and um, it explains if it's a synthesizer or whatever, whatever, whatever. And um, you can go to view, and you can go to uh, project picker which basically separates um, the patterns that you're using in the current song and the channels 
these these are the channels basically the plugins that you're using the waveforms and stuff like that you go to the patterns these are all the patterns that you're using to put the song together and you can choose them one by one another thing that I noticed is they have a few different plugins as far as like um, the this harmless and um, the picture and uh, maybe a few more um, they added um, but basically um, overall I would recommend Fruity Loops 10 I will rec recommend Fruity Loops 10 it's a great um, program if you are a beginner um, just getting in and just want to get the feel of music um, as a music producer or if you're trying, trying to record you know you know it's a, it's a great it's a great tool um, I believe it runs um, I don't know how, the price that it run, that's running for but I, I was on in front of range of around like three hundred or six hundred dollars I do recommend it um, I do recommend um, if, if you can't afford um, free loops 10 go ahead and check out free loops 8 or um, 7 or 6 even they're all basically the same check those out and then see if you like those I believe you can get those free now so check those out because I know I like the sample on 8 like I like out of all the free loops on um, programs I like I just love the sample on 8 it's just something about sampling on 8 but but um, Fruity Loops 10 is pretty cool, and um, features the new features they added is pretty good. Uh, this your boy SK SKG 106H. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, get at your boy.